What is up you guys? It is Jazz and on my channel I talk about nursing, hair, and holistic health and wellness. If this is your first time clicking on a video, thank you for coming to hang out with me today. If you're returning, thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. Well, good morning everybody. It is currently about 5.15 a.m. on what is today? Wednesday, July 20th. I'm gonna be doing another vlog today. I'm gonna take you guys around with me today to work and you're gonna see a bunch of stuff all throughout my day. But the main topic of this vlog is going to be kind of what a COVID lab nurse does day to day, like what my roles are. Just trying to kind of explain what I do more in depth so you can kind of get more of a peek into my new nursing role. So today is gonna be a great day. I can't wait to bring you guys along with me. So let's go ahead and get the day started. I already went to the bathroom and brushed my teeth. So after that, I always start my day by going out onto my balcony to do my daily gratitude practice. So let's go get that started. And we're off you guys not that it's barely even six in the morning and it's already 92 degrees that's the desert for you baby that's the desert for you but yeah anyways vlogging makes everything take longer than you think it's going to Whew. sorry I'm going up a hill so I didn't end up leaving until way later than I wanted to I have less time than I wanted but what's important is I still have enough so here we are just finished showering and I'm gonna pick my outfit you guys I just went shopping for scrubs I already kind of wore a few this week but look at all my scrubs they had a sale on prints can you tell so <laughs> I got a bunch of printed tops my pants are back here um, but when I get paid this Friday I think I'm gonna go one more time and get like one more good batch of scrubs just to have a good little stock of them. Be on the lookout for a new nurse shopping haul coming soon once I go shopping for the rest of my clothes and stuff. But what should I wear today? I think I kind of want to wear my good vibes because today's a good vibes day. I cannot stand this one, it is so freaking cute. The wiener dogs, I can't. But yeah, I think today I want to go with my good vibes. you guys vlogging has me running a little bit behind so i'm about to hurry up and go finish getting ready pack my lunch and get out the door as quick as i can okay i'll catch up with you soon all right you guys it's about 7 10 we're making good time my work site that i'm working at this week and recently is actually pretty close to my house it's only about 12 13 minutes away so we're good on time but let's head over to work and get the work day started all right, you guys, it's about 7.23. Pulled up to my lab. Changed my shoes. I always leave my work shoes in the car and change into my slides. So yeah, like I said, I've been working at the same lab recently. This is my third 
week of work. My first week, I was at a different lab. It was the second closest to my house. Then last week and this week, I'm at the same lab all week. That's the closest one to my house. So I appreciate them sending me to the one really close to my house because not everybody is that lucky. So I'm gonna go ahead and get on inside and I'll check in with you guys soon. Okay, I hope you guys can hear me okay. So we don't have bathrooms in our lab, so we have to go into nearby bathrooms to use the bathroom but anyways so what i was going to tell you guys is that my job is actually like a hybrid role so i have two different kind of roles within my position my main role is that i work at covid testing lab sites around the city they're basically just like portable classrooms that were turned into testing labs and that's where I work most days. But I am part of a hybrid team that also does mobile testing. So we have a mobile testing RV that we take out to rural areas to do testing out there as well. So this week is my week to be on the RV. On the RV, there's one RN and one LPN versus at our sites in the cities, there's usually between like three to five nurses, a mix of LPNs and RNs on any given day. So for the RV, it's just one RN, one LPN. So I'm gonna be the RN for this week. We just go Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. So today's Wednesday, yesterday was my first day actually ever being on the RV since I started. It was a good day, so I'm excited to see how today goes as well. Today, our rural site is about an hour drive away. So in a little bit here, it's 7.45 about, at about 8.30, I'm gonna be leaving my lab in the city to drive out to the rural site and work on the mobile testing RV. It is almost 9.40. I'm out at the rural site now. Been out here for a few minutes, just kind of driving around, figuring out where exactly I'm supposed to be at. But yeah, we made it out here. I have a little bit of time before I have to get started out here at the RV. So I figured I would use this time to kind of explain to you guys what I do every day in my role as a COVID testing lab nurse. So like I said, most days I'm just working in labs that are in the city, in the Las Vegas area. So day to day, what do I do? In the mornings, we get there, we all start at 7.30. We work 7.30 to four. Those are the times that our lab is open. Um, we don't really have to get there any earlier than that. There's not much setup to do in the mornings. So we get there, come in, kind of just make sure everything is set up for the day. Our lead will do like a count for our COVID test to make sure that the count is, the count is right, um, stuff like that. And then as far as throughout the day, there's kind of two roles that we have within our labs. You can either be doing registration or you can be doing testing. Those are the two roles that we do. You do the same role all day and different days you'll get switched up for the roles. So for registration, when they come into the lab, it's pretty simple. We pretty much just greet people. We ask them a few questions. Have they been exposed? Are they experiencing symptoms? Have they ever been to us before? Yada, yada. 
they have paperwork they have to fill out after they're done filling out pa the paperwork the registration person then looks over that paperwork if they've been there before you just confirm that everything is correct on their account if they haven't been there before you have to create a new account for them input all the information on the worksheet and then for everybody then you go ahead and create a new COVID test in the system under their name. So you create a COVID test for that day and they'll keep track of the time. So in there, in the system, we have to write when we collect the sample and then when we read the results. We use the Abbott Binax Now test, which takes 15 minutes to read the results. So our capture, our result capture time is always 15 minutes after the test start time so yeah once the person is done either creating the account making sure the account is updated and then creating the covid test they kind of just keep an eye on the time once 15 minutes is up we go ahead and ask like what the results of the test were the tester will go over and read the test let you know the results you put the results in print it and then just like highlight their name date of birth and test results bring it over to the testers and the testers will then um give the results to the patients the other role tester obviously you are doing testing so for our testing we are provided with you know the full ppe at work so we wear our n95 masks and then we actually wear a surgical mask over that we wear our shield we wear the gown and then we wear two sets of gloves we then go ahead and we will perform the test on the patient so we do the nasal swabs for them um collect the sample go ahead and start the test then we send people back outside um to their cars or wherever to just wait until we can read the results in 15 minutes after the results are up after 15 minutes people will come back knock on the door and we will have their results printed out to send home with them from that point now for both of the roles registration and testing we do cleaning in between every patient so after the tester is done testing we take off the top layer of gloves throw those away and leave the underneath layer on for testing we spray down the chairs where they sat doors and door handles um all that stuff and then if someone was positive if the result is coming up positive then our outer surgical mask that we wear over the n95 we throw it away we spray and wipe down our shields and then the gown itself we take it off and throw that one away if it's negative we just reuse it until we get a positive so basically once we get a positive that's when we change our second mask throw away the gown and go ahead and spray down the face shield that we wear um, and then as far as like in the registration area, we wipe down the clipboards, the pens, the chairs and the doors in between every use as well. That's pretty much the gist of our role. Um, like I said, it's kind of two different jobs within the lab, registration and testing. You kind of switch it up day to day, but yeah. Um, it's a very routine job. So once you get the hang of it, you've kind of got it down. And right now is a little bit of a slower season for us. I don't want you guys to get it twisted. Like if you watched my first vlog for my first day of work, I mentioned in there how on my first day, we didn't do a COVID test on anybody. I don't want you guys to think that we just never like have people um, that come to our labs for testing or anything, but I do work a job where it fluctuates by seasons we have busier seasons and we have slower seasons when i started it just happened to have been in the middle of a slower season so right now day to day at the labs we probably get around like three to seven people throughout the day is i would say a typical for us right now but i know eventually it's gonna ramp up and it's gonna be to the point where it's like consistent non-stop that we're just gonna be doing testing all day um the nurses that i work with said that that's how it was before when it was um a busier season for testing they said that there were times where literally you would not like not get a break you'd be on your feet all day so i know and i'm getting prepared for when it is going to be busier but i'm just trying to enjoy right now the slower little bit of time that we have all right so i think that's pretty much all i wanted to like explain about my day-to-day -day role if i think of anything else i will pop it in this vlog sometime later but i'm gonna go ahead and get out my car because it's hot I'm gonna get out my car, go over to the RV, kind of get my stuff settled, um, just go to the bathroom and, you know, get ready to be here for the RV shift. So here we go, guys. Now I'm just kind of setting our 
chairs apart. They're not all by each other. And let's head inside. Ooh. RV. So getting set up, really the main thing we have to do is sanitize all our surfaces, the front room and the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean everything off now. in a range of 69.8 to 82.4 degrees. So this is our first thermometer. We're at 81.5, so we're good. We're in the range. We'll go back to the other thermometer. And it's at 88.2. When I just got in here a few minutes ago, it was around 90, 91, so it's already dropping a little bit. When this is too high out of range, what we'll do is, you know, just make sure our AC is on, the AC is on high. We're gonna keep this door closed. I had it closed, that's why it's already been dropping to the 88.2. So we're gonna close this door so we can hopefully get this room cooled back off. Next what I do is try and get the computer set up to the Wi-Fi, but the Wi-Fi, we've been having problems with it lately, so the Wi-Fi is not working. So we just say forget about that. We're gonna go ahead and shut my computer down because when the internet's not working, we just use downtime forms. So we use printers to print out the results, the test results for people. So if we can't print them, we just have downtime forms. So I know that we'll have to use those today if we need it. All right, I just wanna to come to the front of the RV so you can hear me a little better. Our air is very loud in there as you guys could probably tell. But it's about like 10, 15 now. So I did my setup stuff, cleaned up, wiped everything down, been keeping my eye on the temperature. I'm just waiting for my LPN. I wasn't sure where she was, but she just texted me. She said that she kind of got turned around. So she'll be here. She's on her way here now, um, but it's okay. We're not busy. I'm not, there's no one here right now. It's, so it's totally fine. We're all set up and ready to go. Now in times like this, where it's nothing else to do, get free time. So I'm about to sit here and work on some editing. is that we're not allowed to eat or drink in the lab. So that's whether it's the stationary lab or our mobile RV lab, um, we cannot eat or drink in them. So we have to come outside to do so. Um, another thing I thought of, I mentioned earlier how right now we use the Abbott Binex Now Rapid Test. We do those and before I started working for my job, they did also used to do PCR testing, um, but the contract for using the PCR testing in our labs ended, so they just kind of got rid of it. But there is a possibility we'll go back to doing both rapid testing and PCR in the future. But as of right now, we're just doing rapid testing. So they're just like little testing cars that we take a nasal sample, go ahead and place it into the testing card and then at 15 minutes we read the results so that is nice people come to us and they have the results within 15 minutes before they even leave if someone does test positive with one of our rapids we then um, recommend them to go to the health district to get COVID tested with them because they do have the PCRs currently so we kind of direct them to them um, just to do like a follow-up confirmation test with the PCR. I'm still waiting for my LPN to get here. It's about 11 o'clock now. She said she would be here by 11. So she should be here any minute now. Like I said, it's okay though. It's not, we don't have anybody. So, um, so far with the mobile RV, um, they've been saying that it's 
very, very slow. We haven't really had people start to come out for it yet. So it's pretty chill days on the RV. Like we honestly kind of just sit outside right here like I am or sit in the RV in the AC and relax. Um, yeah, so hopefully my LPN will be here soon. I'm probably about to go back inside and go back to editing some of my video. Alright you guys, it's 2 o'clock now, so just waiting for our logistics team person and the driver to come out so logistics can check that everything's good to go and we're all set for the day. And I'm about to run inside to use the bathroom one more time before I hit this road to drive an hour home. Everything was all good to go, so I am now heading on home. I've got about a 50 minute drive, so I should get home right around 3 p.m. Um, so it's a nice little earlier day. The days that we do the mobile RV testing, um, we're able to just go home after we're done. So like in the morning how I started at one of our, at my lab site, what you can do is after we're done at, at the RV in the rural sites, then you can go back to your site to finish out the day and get your full eight hours of work if you want to. Um, but they do also allow us to just go ahead and go home after we're done with the mobile testing. So that's what I'm choosing to do um, because I can skip an hour, okay? I don't need to just drive all the way back to the lab to sit there for an hour before I go home. So I'm going home and I should be home by 3 p.m. Usually I work until 4 p.m. and then get home and get settled by around like 4.30, but yeah. So this week is a nice little early week. But yeah, I'm so excited to go home and just enjoy the rest of the day with my man and my baby. Yay! So we're going back out the way we came. We gotta literally drive like through a mountain range, so. I'm making my way up the hill, back into these mountains. Back to some main highways now, y'all. It is 2.59, just pulled up at home. Let's go upstairs and get in the house. Go upstairs, shower, change, and get ready to relax. All right, you guys, I am back home and showered and I'm ready to relax. Thank you all for coming along and following me today on my work day. I hope you enjoyed this day in the life of a COVID lab nurse video. Overall, it was another great day at work, not too busy, had a lot of free time, and the day went by pretty fast. You guys, I just honestly feel so, so incredibly blessed and grateful for my job. Like. I'm just so glad that my nursing agency picked me up, that my recruiter found me and reached out to me when she did because like, I'm just so grateful for it. I have a set schedule, same days, same hours. I don't work weekends, I work Monday to Friday. I don't have to work nights, overnights, 12 hour shifts, nothing like that. I don't have to be in the hospital. I'm making way more money than I would be making in the hospital. And it's just like a relatively stress free job. like. I'm happier and I'm also making better money than if I were to be in the hospital. I see it just about every day, probably multiple times a day, but I'm so grateful and just thank you. Let me just send my things up. Thank you. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys for today's video. 
I'm about to close out this vlog and just relax at home with my family for the rest of the day before I have to go back to work tomorrow. Once again, thank you all so much. I really appreciate every single person who clicks on a video, stops by to check it out. I really, really, truly do. Last thing I wanna say is just, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye guys.